Hello mindful foodies, I've got an exciting episode for you. I'm going to show you how to make your own vegan sausages using this um, vegetarian sausage casings and your leftover okara. So let's begin. So it seems there's quite a lot of ingredients, but each of them adds something to the sausages. So here I've got the star of the show, our um, one and a half cups of fresh okara. And then I've got um, three quarters of a cup of sunflower seeds. So I'm going to blend them in my spice grinder into a flour. So using my handy Bamex tool. So there you go, just maybe 20, 20, 25 seconds. So that's looking quite nice and um, fine flour. Next, I've got a third of a cup of rice flour. So this is brown um, rice flour. Then we've got two teaspoons of coconut sugar you could use rapadura sugar so a healthier least refined sugar um, then we're gonna go for um, half a teaspoon of garlic powder actually we'll go for a teaspoon because that's quite going to be quite a bit of an amount and the important thing with these sausages they need to be quite well spiced so a teaspoon of garlic powder and, and then I'm going to do one tablespoon of onion powder. My onion powder is a little bit clumped. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly blend it in my spice grinder. Just so that it's back to powder again. <coughs> Literally took like two, three seconds. And it's back into powder. So a tablespoon of that, then we're going to want two tablespoons of um, mushroom powder. So this one is shiitake mushroom powder. If you got porcini powder, that's even better. Um, so two tablespoons just to give that extra umami flavor. Then we want um, a teaspoon of smoked paprika here. So a good teaspoon. Then we, we take a, a good, generous pinch of nutmeg. So this is ground nutmeg. I'll put a quarter of a teaspoon in here just for a tad little bit of flavoring. Um, I'll also add a tablespoon of, um, actually we'll do half a teaspoon, not tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt. So this is just black salt. It's not kalanamak or anything. It just happens to be black, but it's just normal salt. So I'll put half a teaspoon because we're going to be, going to be also adding um, some soy sauce here as well. Actually, let's see if I've got, yeah. So I'll, I'm going to do one tablespoon of caraway seeds here. So a tablespoon. And then we're going to need a couple of teaspoons of beetroot powder, beetroot juice powder. So this is for that kind of red color to color it a little bit. Um, if you don't have a beetroot powder, uh, what you could do, you could add um, half a cup of cooked beetroot, but maybe then reduce um, the okara by that amount. So now all our dry spices are done. So we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm also going to add a teaspoon of um, liquid smoke here. So that will be adding that extra bit of smokiness. I did already put smoked paprika, but that just gonna add a little bit more to that. And I'm just gonna mix that all together well. And now for a little bit more of umami and also a little bit of kind of sourness, if you like, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of some tomato puree. Um, you could also add some ketchup if you don't have tomato puree but uh, tomato puree is better. So add a good tablespoon and mix it through again. So I've got my um, dough here. It's looking a little bit dry. So depending how wet your okara was, 
I'm gonna probably add a couple of tablespoons of olive brine. You know I love olive brine. <laughs> Um, you could use just um, a bit of uh, bouillon stock or just water. I think I, I need a couple um, of tablespoons to just make it a little bit um, thinner because we're going to um, have to uh, pipe these into our sausage cases. So it might be a little bit too stiff to do that. And while it bakes, it'll stiffen up more. So, yeah, so a tablespoon or two. See how you're... Um, dough looks like and if your car was quite wet you might be okay already yeah hopefully that'll be uh, all right to work with so I've got my silicon kind of filling um, piping bag and uh, it's got like a metal um, quite a wide diameter uh, piping thing in there and these are my vegetarian sauce, uh, sausage casings that I'll link down below where I bought it. I think I bought it online. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, get uh, a length. So maybe we'll do one, two, like three sausages wide perhaps. So I'm just going to cut it. And I'm going to... Close one end like that. I'm gonna try to pipe this length. Maybe I'll do two sausages at a time in the future so it's not too too long, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna just put my filling into my piping bag. Mm, this smells really nice and sausagey actually. So there you go, the mixture is in. Perfect for my piping bag actually. So I'm going to twist it and I'm going to start filling it. So I'm just going to carefully add my nozzle in into the, um, the thing and I'm going to, and you're going to hold it so it doesn't come off. I think the filling is a little tad a bit firm, to be honest. I could have uh, added a little bit more of olive brain. So what I'll do actually, I'll just do one sausage here, um, like that, and we're going to twist it, so we're going to close this end, going to twist this end and twist the other end. Don't do it too tight, leave it a little bit of room because it'll expand and otherwise it'll burst. So leave it a little bit like softer like that. Don't do it too tight. So leave it a bit softer and then I'm just gonna cut it off. Actually you might want to leave that other end not done up yet because that kind of doesn't let the air through so it's harder to um, to push it so I'm learning as I go so I must admit the stuffing process was a tad messy because I don't have specific tool because what really needs to happen you need to put your tool and um, kind of thinner uh, like that all the way through your casing and then basically you just kind of fill that and you just keep on turning the sausages that way that's how it's supposed to work. But anyway, I don't have such a thin kind of long um, nozzle. So I'll see if I can invest in something specifically for um, sausage stuffing uh, next time. But yeah, so these are ready. My oven has preheated at 150 degrees um, Celsius. Um, and I'm going to be um, baking these. So Actually, I've got it 150 degrees on fan oven, so it's about 161, maybe 65, I think mine goes to. Um, but yeah, maybe just keep it, if yours is fan oven, maybe keep it 140, um, just in case. And then I'm going to bake these for um, 25 to 30 minutes. The sausages have finished baking and they are looking good. Look at this. Fantastic. This is my first time doing this specific filling, so I'm really looking forward to trying these out. And now to the best part, got my taste tester. 
Have you noticed that he was absent for making of these? And yet, How does it work? <laughs> and yet he's present for eating of these. It's only right. So grab yourself the one that I've cut. I've cut this long one for us to give it a go. And it's looking pretty kind of, it's actually not too soft. Mm. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. It didn't split. It's, it's actually baked quite well. Mm. Seems it, yeah. So let's give it a go. Mm, it is soft. Inside? So the inside kind of, you see it's like a... Um, how did you, look how neatly I bit. Yeah, when I bit it just all burst <laughs> out of the side, you know. Mm. I mean, it, it, it tastes lovely, flavour-wise it's I think gorgeous. it definitely needs you to use the knife, knife and fork a little bit. Because mm. the casing t t tends to be a little bit harder to bite into. Mm. But flavor wise, it's lovely. It's nice, really, isn't it? You mm. need a bit of maybe salad, a bit of sauce, and it's mm. it's really good. So good, mm. guys. So give this a go. If you got some um, leftover okara, that's perfect. Use. <laughs> I might have guessed. <laughs> yeah, so that's perfect use for your okara. If you don't have okara, you could use do the same thing. Just have the mashed beans instead mm. or, or lentils. I think it would work next time. Maybe I'll try with mashed beans or lentils and see how that goes. But yes, yeah, so this is another excellent use of okara. Give me a thumbs up if you like the idea and the recipe. If you're new here, welcome and subscribe for more videos just like this on Wednesdays and Sundays. <laughs> And as always, remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Exactly. Until next time. Bye, guys.